In this video, I'm going to be talking about the three best golf GPS devices of 2019. So what we basically look for whenever we're testing them all out, were how they actually performed, how the quality was, and then also the price. And then we tried the best we could to find one that's a little bit cheaper, one that's middle of the range, and then one that's more expensive as well. So you can basically kind of go off whatever your budget is. But let's start with the number three pick. It's going to be the Garmin Approach X40. And this is my second favorite GPS watch for golf and would highly recommend it if you are looking for a super simple watch to use. It's got pretty much all the basic features you'd want such as the distance to the front, flag and back of the green, as well as a fitness tracker to keep track of your steps and calories and you know that kind of thing. Um, you know, Garmin also has one of the best apps so you can basically track your stats such as like driving distance, um, an iron performance, that kind of thing, which is definitely pretty cool. Um, the pros of the X40 are you know, it's preloaded with over 40,000 courses worldwide, and they are always being updated as well. Um, it's going to show you the course and also the green layout as well. Um, and it's one of the more consistent and accurate GPS units on the market. Cons, um, the screen is pretty small compared to the others. Um, the touch screen can be a little bit tricky if you do have bigger fingers. And I'm not the biggest fan of wearing watches in general. Um, you know, I actually don't wear the watch. I have it just in my bag and kind of use it as that. I'm not the biggest fan of wearing watches and um, that's why I don't and a lot of people do prefer it over the handheld devices but I'm going to be covering both so which, whichever ones I like um, you know for handhelds versus watches we're going to cover in this video here and that brings us to our number two pick which is going to be the Garmin Approach G8 and this is my favorite handheld GPS unit and would definitely recommend it if you aren't a fan of wearing watches like myself um, it's got a bigger screen than a watch and that makes it up things so it makes it a lot easier to use um, and see basically the course layout and the green layout and all that kind of thing and all the different information on the course itself. Um, it's quite a bit more expensive than the watches but out of all the handhelds I've tested, um, the G8 was by far my favorite. Um, it has you know more and also better features to it. Pros, I'm just going to show you the distance to the front, pin and back of the green. It's going to track the distance on each hole so you can basically know how far you hit each club. And then the display is easy to read in sunlight as well. Cons, um, the battery wasn't quite as good as the watches, um, but if you simply dim it or turn it off after you use it, um, you're going to be fine. And then it can sometimes be a bit of a hassle taking it out of your bag and you know, putting it back in your bag every shot. Um, honestly, that's just something you're going to have to get used to. Um, wasn't a huge tip, but it was kind of the main two cons that I have to say about it. My number one pick is going to be the Garmin Approach S20. And the S20 is by far my favorite golf watch and I've been using mine for a while now and do love it. Um, I don't wear it like I was saying before, I just have it in my bag and kind of take it out whenever I need it. Um, it's got pretty much all the same features as the X40 but it does, um, I do like it better because the screen is slightly bigger and it also comes with a longer battery life as well. Um, the battery life was around 12 hours in GPS mode, um, it's a little bit less for the X40. Um, and it does still track your driver and also your iron performance, which is definitely nice. Pros, um, it's reasonably priced in my opinion. Um, it's going to track your round and basically keep track of um, you know your, your entire round, all your stats in the app itself, like fairways and greens and regulation, um, you know number of putts, that kind of thing, which is definitely cool. And I found it to be a bit more comfortable than the X40 as well. And those are kind of the main reasons why I like it more. But the cons of it are, um, it's a little bit trickier to use than the X40, so there's more features. Um, it does take a little bit of more time getting used to it, um, but honestly not a huge deal. Um, the course map isn't quite as good as the handheld G8, um, which is definitely expected because it is a watch, it's smaller, that kind of thing. But those are pretty much the two main cons that I have with the S20. Um, it definitely is my favorite and would definitely recommend it if you are looking for a golf watch. If you'd like to see more images or more reviews of any of the products or you want to pick up any for the lowest price available, check out the description down below. At the time of the video, that was the best place I could find each of the products. So you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I will just mention our monthly giveaway. So if you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment giveaway down below. Simply do those three things and you'll be automatically entered. Alright, so that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.